because I think my hair has grown. Look. <gasps> guys. Ah. Oh, guys. And this is not even the back. Like, they st I still have a, a bun here at the back like this. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. hi and welcome back to my youtube channel uh, in today's video we are going to do a quick as always protective hairstyle at this moment i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm about to do i'll figure it out as i go along and i just know that i'm pressed for time though uh, so hopefully i make it in time and oh before i actually go further to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining the family. My name is Riti Mechi and I mainly produce hair content, occasional vlogs and makeup. And if that's your thing, to those who haven't subscribed but are here for the first time, please join the family and hit the subscribe button down below. All right, I wanted to try something out here. Ne? Um, what I've noticed is there's this trend called the rubber band method in how to style, do a protective style for your hair. But I've also noticed concern that people say the rubber band normally, when you take it off, even if you put some oils on it, it normally just comes out with a little bit of your hair and other people advise against that. So I wanted to try something. I wanted to try using a wool instead, you know so it but still maintaining the same rubber band pattern kind of hair stuff so um yeah so i think i'm gonna try something like that and for you guys that are relatively new here i have between 4a and 4b it's definitely not 4c kind of hair and i am essentially transitioning from relaxed to natural so that's why the the ends look thinner than um, the root of the hair. So I've been transitioning for, I started in, the last time I relaxed my hair was last year, February. So that would mean we are in June now. That would mean one year, four months. So yeah, just the details about the type of hair that I have. All right, so, oh. I've already wasted time, but let me start with the protective styling. I'm just going to um, section the side off. So I'm going to start with the other side. Because I think my hair has grown. Look. <gasps> Guys. Maybe I should do like a, excuse my dry lips. Maybe I should do like a, a video on, and just check the, oh guys. And this is not even the back. Like this, I still have a, a bun here at the back like this. Oh my gosh, guys. Imagine like if I were to relax this. This is like stretched out and stuff. Oh, this is where my hair would be, <laughs> guys. Protective styling really grows your hair. <laughs> In my mind, man. This is like I'm going to be transitioning for a long time. And I if 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 Dark and Lovely pays me like millions of dollars, not rands even, millions of dollars to relax my hair, say after three years with them. That would be like a, a dope collaboration, right? Right? Oh my gosh, guys. Big. <laughs> ah, guys. Guys, I should probably like post a, a short. My hair has grown. <gasps> okay, guys. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me focus. Focus, read the focus. Um. Hmm. Excuse me, remember I say I think as I go along. Guys, like I literally have like 15 minutes, so I hope this thing really works. Okay, so I'm going to do a part here on the side like this. 
so what i like to do when i do my parts like this i use this red tall comb to do the part and then i go in with styling gel i'm using this echo styler and i like to just apply this on the part like this and then go back again with the red tall comb to just define your part I'm going to take this section and instead of rubber bands I'm going to use wool and hopefully it has the same effect. Do this so the hair doesn't get in the way. I'm just going to pin it down here at the back like this. Right. So I just I think you can get this normally at any Indian hair shop or you can okay I, I think you can also get it at Discam. I just don't know the price there by Discam. So I'm going to go in with the styling gel. What I like to do I just like to shape it in the direction I want it to go like this. Here's the wool. I like to, where the thumb is, I'm going to place the beginning of the wool. I hope you can see the beginning of the wool, wool like this and hold it tight like that and just wrap around about three times. And then on the third time, go and tighten it essentially. So yeah. And then about three more times and then tie it like this create a loop and take it down and like this do another loop like this pull it out like this I really hope you can see and then pull down that loop to the bottom and voila the white parts don't worry about it and then cut the wool like this again take the wool where my thumb is wrap it around about three times So now I have I have one, two, three, four, five, and I have to join. Um, remember with the rubber band method, we do this. Okay, so with this wool that is just chilling here, I'm going to join it with the hair. I'm going to put it and hide it inside the hair like this, and then. I'm going to twist. And then I take it, I wrap it around this other hair at the back and then I join it and I do another soft twist. Take this hair, wrap 
bit of a round. Just with the soft twist thing and then join it with this other hair. I'm going to use wool to secure this one. Just making sure that on this side I'm putting the head down and then I'm taking it up just so I can maintain this part over here. going to maintain basically I'm going to do the braid like it it is right now but I'm just going to make it tighter we are going to need a lot of pens so basically just going to wrap this around the whole thing like this and as I go along I pin I pin the braid the actual braid So I'm done. I'll show you the finished look after this. <laughs>